When I was 11, I watched the same skate tape about 567 times. I played a total of 2,581 hours of Tony Hawk's Underground, spent 52 Saturday mornings at the skate park in 2006, and practiced the same three tricks religiously. It's safe to say I was obsessed with the art of skateboarding. But I was lonely. It was easy to feel like an outsider. I feel taken advantage of, and now I'm damaged up. I'm just a means to an end until they had enough. I used to be treated different, I guess the man above. I had different plans for me, apparently in fantasy, thinking whoever handled me. Where the hell was a young Puerto Rican girl like me supposed to fit in? I never saw myself in skate culture. I didn't think I would ever be like them. So I quit. For years, I told myself I wasn't a skater. I replaced my slip-ons with heels, obsessed over my professional image, and learned the nuances to blend in with white corporate America. But as time went on, I became more and more unhappy. I had no idea who I was anymore. I missed skateboarding. The sound of a good snap. The exhilaration when the board sticks to your feet like a magnet. The focused yet freeing flow of cruising. Even the humbling moments of almost smashing your face on concrete. I'm 27 now. For a long time, I played a dangerous game of dodging who I was. But I realized as I drove by the local skate park one day that I felt like a kid again. Skateboarding illuminated every part of me. My fear, my pain, That's doubt, it. love, and courage. It made me forget about all the noise and focus on embracing every part of who I am. Every emotion, and every failure, and every success. I wish I could say I shred now. <laughs> but that's really not the point. The point is, I've learned to stop giving so much of a shit about what everybody thinks. That by allowing myself to follow what I love, I've attracted happiness, community, and confidence. What's always drawn me to skateboarding is the complete freedom to make it your own. To show up as yourself, no matter what that looks like. After all, the beautiful thing about skateboarding is that we dictate what it looks like every time we find the courage to step on a board and push. understand a lot of things, even things out of this world. But you know one thing that puzzles me? All these pretty girls.
Hello, it's me. If you guys are still here and still watching this, I just want to give a really, really big thank you for making it through the film and for finally watching something that's been under wraps for about a year and a half now. The film went off to film festivals and it, it actually won some awards, which is really, really amazing. And I could not be more blessed to have the opportunity to have been able to put this together. So thank you so much for uh, Fujifilm to give me the opportunity to make this film by sponsoring it and by funding it and by including it in their campaign for the X-H2S. And thank you to my friends who made this happen. Um, this film pretty much sparked a DP director relationship with me and my friend Ian and it's, it's actually propelled me into wanting to direct and to create more films like this, longer pieces and actual pieces of like narrative filmmaking. I've gone on to make some other little short films and it was all because of this one. And it's by no means perfect. It was a film that I made when I honestly didn't know a lot of what I know now. And I think that's what makes this film so special to me. And it's a timestamp. It's a timestamp of a place where I was in my life at the time and it's a timestamp of what I knew at the time, which was honestly n not too much. And so the fact that Fujifilm took a chance on us to make a film like this is super special to me. And knowing when I wrote this film, I was going through a really, really, really hard time in my life. Um, so the fact that I was even able to pull this off honestly still amazes me because this film also comes with so much emotion for me because of a huge relationship breakup that I was going through at the time when this was written. And, you know, the fact that my life looks a lot different now uh, does not look the way that I thought it was going to look at this point in my life. But I think that's why the message of this film still holds really true to me. It's to really just keep pushing and to keep going no matter what. Uh, life is full of crazy ups and downs and it has continued to be full of crazy ups and downs for me for the past two years. And I'm just really, really happy to be able to share this with you guys and to know that I've improved so much since this has been made is, is really cool to know. And so I'm happy that I finally get to share it. And thank you guys for sticking around and for watching and for listening to this little one taker rant and, um, this film will, will always be super special to me because I, I really truly see it as the start of a new chapter of my career. And I hope that if you watch it, you take away the message to keep on going and to keep making your own art, keep using your own voice, and don't be afraid to just fucking go for it. Just fucking go for it. Thank you guys so much. Today's my birthday also, so it's really cool. I appreciate you guys. Am I done? Yeah. Oh, not, yeah. not you hiding in the corner. Like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, you went for it. I went for that ish. It's going. over. It's over, guys. We're done with this film. <laughs> Wait, come say hi. Oh, shit. He said, there goes Ian, boy. Little DP action. Hey. And we're Thanks out. Thanks for watching. And we're out.